Right guys, I'm going to show you how to install WAMP server on your Windows machine for local web development. First, go to Google and search for WAMP. That first link should take you to WAMPserver.com which is the web server that we want to install. But before we do that, we need to install a package which WAMP requires to be installed on your machine in order to work properly. Otherwise, WAMP will complain that there are files missing. So let's go to Google again and search for Visual C redistributable. And click on the first link that comes up. Let's download that. We have a few different packages here. Mine's a 32 bit machine, so I'm going to go for the one that says x86 on it. But if you've got a 64 bit processor on your machine, on your PC, then select this one and then click the next button. I've got 32 bit, so I'm going to click that and click next. Save that to your downloads and then run the installation. Agree to the terms, install. Right, that's complete. Now that's done, we can close that tab. Go back to wampserver.com. Click on download and I'm going to click to download a 32 bit version of WAMP server because my machine is 32 bit. But if you've got a 64 bit machine, then click this one on the right hand side. When you click the link, you get this pop up, and the download link can be found there where it says download directly. So click that. and the download should start in a few seconds. Okay, that's done. So we're going to run that. And follow through the installation steps. Accept the agreement. Next. By default, it wants to install it in your C drive, uh, in the WAMP directory click next I'm going to allow it to create icons for me next then click install WAMP will ask you to select your default browser for me it's Firefox so I'm going to find my Firefox executable, click open and that's finished. I'm just going to accept the defaults here, just click next and then click finish to launch WAMP. Now at the bottom of your computer screen you can see WAMP has fired up here and the icon has turned green. Let's go to Apache and then Apache modules. You'll need to turn on the rewrite module, which is required by many content management systems. So just click on it. WAMP will restart. And then if we go back to Apache and then click on Apache modules, and then have a look for the rewrite module we will find that it has been enabled there we go it's got a tick next to it so that's enabled which is good now let's go to mysql and then to my.ini and at the bottom of the 
MySQL any file, we're going to put uh, lower case table names equals two, and then we're going to save that. Ah, there we go, lowercase table names. Save that. There we go. Then we can click on the W and then click on localhost. And here we are. We've got Apache version 2.4.9 running, PHP version 5.5, MySQL version 5.6, and we've also got all of these extensions loaded. That's it.